My name is Ramsony, and welcome back to the Republic Cult here in Cult of the Lamb. All righty then, do we have anything that we had queued up for ourselves at the start of this day? You know what, I'm going to trust myself from the end of the last episode and just assume that they were diligent at that time. So, we do have that kind of crisis of faith going on at the moment, but it's not really something I can deal with. So, instead, let's just throw ourselves back into Anchor Deep. I think that's probably a good idea. Continue unlocking towards the ultimate boss in this area. <clears throat> Excuse me, just quick clear of the throat. A zealous dagger of level 10, giving us divine inspiration bar as well. Unfortunately, low in damage, high in attack rate, but that's exactly the kind of weapon that I don't wield particularly well at this point. I mention it basically every episode as it happens, but what? Hang on. Excuse me? Just a bunch of tarot for me? Mmm. I love potato. Uh, enemies drop two times more fervor from fervor's harvest. We also have curses consume 25% less fervor. And the lovers giving us just a plus one. Interesting. I wonder why that happened, if that's just a, a rare rune spawn that happens to be very, very helpful. Or if maybe the game took pity on me and was like, nah, I don't, uh, I'll just push you through this next one, bud. Or maybe I did something in a different layer of the game that contributed to this one. I don't yet know. Uh, I'll be taking... Ooh, I didn't even know there were going to be crystal shards down there. I didn't even see them. We are all the players in this game of chance. Chance to spawn better chests seems a good idea to me at the very start of this. You know what? I'm going to take the offering as well. It's only 30. And we score for ourselves a 20% chance to gain extra health when killing an enemy. Okay, we're definitely not going to scrub out in this dungeon. I, how did I miss that? How did I miss those crystal shards up there? And then also, how did that not have any crystal shards up there? Feels like I've been multiple times betrayed. I've got all this further. I really should be using it. There we go. I don't want to get too close to whatever the enemy does because I don't know how they explode. Do I have to touch them? Do I have to get too close? Do I have to strike them? Gain an extra full heart. Okay. I make sure that anytime anything shows an obvious sign of threat, maybe it's about to do an attack, maybe there's an exclamation mark above it, head! That felt like I was about to take a hit. Didn't though, so we're all good. Just try and be very, very reactive. And just a little bit of grass cutting around the edges here the densest areas of terrain. Oh, there's just a lot of projectiles going on at any one time. We did get scored by one of them while trying to dodge a couple of the other ones. Ah, well. More than happy to take my first couple of lumps here. Remove the spectre of attempting perfection. Have some chance to land a critical hit. I mean, we're hitting constantly. Many, many rolls of that dice. Tarot card reveals unto us a diseased heart. Possibly one of the least valuable ones we could have gotten. Not that I'm complaining. Loudly. Uh, a question mark up there. I mean, I could purchase another person. I do want to purchase another person. I like having people. How am I going to foster a fight club? You must hunger much, Lee. Have this one on the house. Tiny, pathetic creatures. So tasty. Come on, Jujimro. general. Welcome on in. And... More so, get some extra follower meat out here. I didn't even have to sacrifice anyone to have that meal. Maybe we go feed Neko the remains of this dissenting person and see if that 
changes their tune about their current descent. Honestly, I don't think the return on time for striking that to get two stone at this point is even worth it for me. No! Oh, that strike. I was just certain I was going to slay him right before it. Perfect timing on their part to not have died to it. Okay. Good crit, but could you do it to finish the enemy, actually? That would be a lot more useful for me. Rather than just tempting me to continue engaging for a much longer period of time than I need to, and then taking damage and losing my multiplier. I mean, it just seems like ultimately that critical hit results in us doing less damage. Now, sure, you could say that seems like a problem that you could solve internally by just not being greedy. All right, now this next one. It's not a viable solution. What are you talking about? Perfect. Strike, strike. Got him. Uh, that didn't look like it had any crystal shards in it, but I did want to just be certain. I didn't even look at the hallway entry for that other path that we haven't taken yet, so it's entirely possible that that is the tarot. I should just go and immediately get that. This is very much kind of like my Indiana Jones pulling out the pistol to shoot the scimitar wielder kind of moment, right? Not in that I have diarrhea. That's literally a true story of Harrison Ford having had runs on the set on that day and therefore that sh scene having been heavily reduced. You know what? That's actually probably apocryphal. This is probably not true, and I'm probably just now regurgitating it, saying that it definitely is a true thing, having heard someone previously say it's definitely a true thing. I haven't heard Harrison Ford say it, but why would he? This is, who's gonna who's gonna go out specifically and say, Hi, I would like to talk about the time that I had the runs. Uh, Warmaker's Hammer, that's exactly the kind of tool that I like. Thank you much, Lee. And then I'm gonna take the Warhammer's Hammer, and then I'm gonna recycle my Zealous Degur. Uh, but it's very much my moment of that kind of like, you know, a skipping the entire process very, very quickly just by pumping off the curse with its AoE seeking missiles. AoE seeking missiles? Their area seeking missiles. It's. I. I don't know actual weapon terminology. I I know the words that they use in games to describe them. Further completely replenishes when entering a new combat room. That's wild as heck. We're very powerful right now because that means we can just walk into every room and then just pump off five different AOE seeking missile attacks. That actually might be a lot. Peace be with you, Crusader. I seek only the truth and light, but I may be of service to you. I can increase the loyalty of any follower you choose. Please. Wait, it's Tristan at the moment? Wait, do we have multiple people rebelling against us at this time? I mean, it makes most sense that I would do it to Silly again, knowing that Silly is going to be here for another 40 years, whereas everyone else is limited to the next 10 ish. Oh. Hm. My work is done. This fool would follow you into the deepest darkness from whence no one returns. Well done. I mean, I really thought there was going to be some interest in the destructible terrain here. I do like getting a bit of loyalty while we're out on the hunt, but was it necessary? <clears throat> it seems loyalty is very easy to generate, but it's very difficult to generate it in ways that don't themselves have a particularly large cost. The thing that in particular comes to mind is like 
inspiring everyone is a... Oh my god. No, I'm not... You can level up my thing whatever you want. I'm not taking the claws. You can't make me do that. I'm keeping this weapon. Also, we actually have enough shards for the Lighthouse Keeper at this point. My... Oh, I guess I can equip and then recycle. So yeah, I'll equip this. And then drop it and then recycle it. But it only recycles for one coin. I don't think that's even like an efficient thing to do in terms of time either. Get away from the area of explosion for that. Good lord, all of these dropping tarot chests. Mithridism! Immune to poison. Uh, I mean, poison certainly being utilized more in this dungeon than dungeons prior. Neither of these entrances looks unique or interesting to me. Okay, that makes sense. They're both combat rooms. That's exactly what that would have implied. Perfect. Um, no extra crystals around here or anything like that? No? Grand. Okay, we can now take out the big targets in a single swing of this hammer. This is exactly the kind of thing I wanted to do with this please coat the entire time. I'm so pleased it worked so well. Oh. I embrace other styles when they're available, sure, but I mean, come on. I gotta, I gotta do the thing that works so well, right? It does big number. B I double G that one. A, uh, the hearts. For an extra half heart there. And either of these exits... Yes, this one has the... There we go, Clownikin. Not as bonus resources, I guess. I don't ultra expect to get much out of that before the end, but I also don't expect to need the help of the other one before the end of this dungeon either. Oh, straight to the boss. Cool. Capital. I literally immediately... That's the worst possible... Mind. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just not going to focus on it. I, I can't believe I haven't even been doing my nuke ability. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to lose the boss and deserve it. That's what's going to happen. Only by asserting that this is definitely my fate. Can I come to terms with an attempt to avoid it? No! As it turns out, all I've done is prime the pump. Prepare myself for... Losing. Hey, I got a nice necklace though. You can't take that away from me. They say you can't take it with you, and yet I will still have it back here at the base. Um... So I see everyone still hates me. I'm gonna quickly collect some Divine Inspo. Devotion Harvest Totem. I do kind of want to get these second levels of the, the mines and stuff like that. Yes, let's do that. The second level of the Lumberyard. Gives us more resources to help build out with other things thereafter. And heck, it looks like I'm actually going to get another level of Divine Inspiration. I'll totally take the Stone Yard as well. Stone Mine, rather. Beauty. Uh, okay, we've also completed a quest, Balan. There we go. Oh, I really wish I could have just given you praise before I handed in that quest because there is so much overflow that we miss out on as a result of not having done that in the other order. Quest failed. Oh yeah, I guess people are probably going to leave now because I didn't make anyone happy in time. Hmm. Who's leaving though? Is it going to tell me? Please tell me. I would like to know. Educate Tristan all of it. Have you ever thought about the fact that you might just be wrong? Anyone smell gas? 
Um, I'm gonna induct this new member, Juju Moral. Jewel Majol, rather. Welcome on in. Despite having not been here for the mushroom ceremony, they are still clearly coming preloaded. Okay. Give some inspiration. I also also do some uh, some ritual stuff while we're here. Got a lot of stuff off cooldown for it. Should also start setting up some more spaces for people to utilize and farm. For the moment, though, we'll start with the sermon. Welcome on in, everyone. Perfection. That's another level for us and gives us merciless weapons. They have a chance to deal a critical hit when attacking enemies. Like we have five more unlocks to make in this area, and it also looks like it does cap out at a hundred as a requirement for the uh, for the level up. Next up, we'll go to the crown. This isn't my last in. No, it is my last in possessions. Okay, this is the last doctrine we need to pass. Sacral architecture trait. All cult, uh, all cult members rather gain the uh, sacral architecture trait. Uh, when a new building is constructed, gain plus five faith, or gain more faith when delivering a sermon. I'm going to go gain more faith when delivering a sermon because I'm doing that very, very consistently. But I guess I will build stuff more eventually because there's not going to be a reason to give more sermons after a certain point, but I guess I'll still do it. Eh, whatever. Diversity. I don't think this is going to make a huge difference for us. And then in rituals, uh, let's have a look, because we've got some old folks about. So, Doyla, Ballard, we've got people getting up in age, 47, 850, I think it's Doyla. Alas. Honestly, this this is where you want to be. Don't have to do any of the farming or worshipping anymore. Or breathing. That either. Saves so much time. I spend a lot of my time breathing. Oh. Cut all that out of a day and probably have another 24 hours. Um, again, we need to collect our loyalty rewards from everyone popping a new level here. Excuse me, Jazzy. I hate to interrupt your conversation, but I also have to interrupt your conversation. I could have sworn there were more people that got... There we go. Uh, it's... Are you one of the new folks? Yes, you're Salios. We got you in the last episode. Loyalty reward from Neko as well. Looks like Abba has one to give two. Now, Abba, Ballard, the two of you are old hands of the cult here this time. I think the, the cult at large would benefit very deeply from managing to study both of you in a life and dex, life and dex, a, a strength and life and dex and death contest, specifically in the Thunderdome. I am saying it is time for us to have our first fight to the death. We don't have enough bones. All right, I'm out to get some bones. As soon as I get back, get ready for that fight to the death I just talked about. Pat the doggy. Okay. Um, 
someone's out on a mission already. I can... Ooh, Eloise. You're a ripe target for a leveling here. And it takes. That loyalty reward. I think I'm also probably two beds down on what people actually need to be sleeping at the moment. Uh, next level of divine inspiration. We can take the third level of missionary. I would really, really like to do that. What do you get from this, though? They complete it even more quickly. It doesn't look like you get additional... Uh, no, you do get different resources. Okay, it gives you the ability to also get... Uh... Oh, it gives you the ability to also get refined resources. I mean, that's exactly the kind of stuff that we still need. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Love it. Oh no, we actually have enough in the town. Perfect. Let's take that down, get the remainder of our resources from that as well. And now we have the ability, I believe, to upgrade. Oh, what's that resource? Dang, stone mine requires a thing I can't use yet. Also, it looks like you build lumberyards on top of previously existent lumberyards. Hmm. These are a lot more costly than I thought they were ultimately each going to be. Uh, we can make the farmer station at the moment, which I'm more than happy to do. We can also construct the missionary. We can only actually construct one of those two, though. Considering the fact that we have a missionary out at the moment, I think I'll start with the other one. I also think I should start priming the pump to get the resources to make the rest. Uh, okay. People aren't eating at the moment. They are giving offerings. That's some more camellia. No one's sick. They tolerate the mushrooms well. Jazzy and Disney Mia, but become friends. Some extra food stuffs. Beautiful. Okay. Now, there's the quest is returned. Beautiful. I can actually upgrade the the mission rate. I really, really, really did want to prioritize that upgrade and send some people back out. Patricia, how'd you go? Please don't tell me you died. Lead over time! Yes! Welcome back. Eloise, what do you got to say? The Nana. Continues to masquerade as faithful something must be done. You have to imprison him. Huh. Accept the quest. I am going to go read Thanana's mind on Patricia's advice. Thanana. No, that's next. Thanana. What you got in that mind? Dance with the leader. You liked it. Descent to re-educated. Their suffering is just punishment. No, you are absolutely like to totally on board. Our cult grows in greatness, all of that. Devotee gains more faith when you summon it. Yeah, no, they're absolutely all, they are down to clown until I'm in the ground with that. Anyhow, go to jail. Absolutely prison for you. Pop some fuel for the massive, massive devotion incomes. Up. Let's get that farmer station. I really would like if they actually had the ability to harvest the crops and leave them in chests, because that was really good when they did that. Uh, let's also get a Skakrow over there. Oh, the Skakrow is actually large enough to cover the entire area. Neat. Oh, no, wait, but the... Yeah, because I can plant extra plots on the outside. Uh, you know what? This area is not going to look good for a while. That's fine. I, I would rather it be functional than uh, uh, good at this point because <laughs> it hasn't been both. Like, I might as well not hold off. Uh, that's it, right? Like, it doesn't cover the bottom, I think. It turns out to cover the bottom. I'm going to be confused. 
Uh, okay, next up, after having done all of that Demonic Summoning Circle, we do need one of these. That would happily go in exactly this location, so I will actually tear up this tree myself. Oh, I can't even put the Nane in prison until uh, Tristan's out of it. That'll happen soon enough. Okay. There's the Demonic Summoning Circle coming up. Man, having a bunch of them actually working hard really, really does get the job done quite fast. Many hands, light work, and etc., and so on and so forth. I mean, yeah, we have like two people, I think, still tasked to prioritize farming. I think this is an appropriate day to spend off the adventure. Okay, what else do I want to set up for them to build later on? I mean, we're probably going to have someone die of old age relatively soon, I feel. Hmm. Is a lumberyard too that good? Like, it just says log up. Does it give logs faster? Does it give logs eternally? Does it give more logs per cut? I, uh, will it give enough to ever justify the input of the crystals? Which actually, I can't even give you the crystals right now because the first person who needs crystals is going to be our quest completer. Ah, I see. This was the Scarecrow, and this is what they didn't finish. That tracks. And yeah, it covers all of the, the plots as I put them down. Beautiful. Um, target the highest seeds first. Grand. Now. I can use the travel point now to visit the Lighthouse Keeper. And also it is night time, so I can visit the end of this pier, which I'd entirely forgotten about, but hopefully commenter remembered and mentioned to me. Pier into the darkness being a unique option I now have there. <laughs> Gracias, Lam. You have once more returned this place to its shining glory, as I swear you are in Offering in return. Praise the Lamb or Light of Leon. A new form that my followers can take can take the form of the general here. <laughs> that fellow outside, that fish air uh, man, there's something off about him. It is almost as if he were a. Uh... No, that would be too ridiculous. What are you going to accuse him of being? An avid fisherman, I should hope. Oh, what? What? <laughs> a little lamb, all alone, careful. You never know what lurks in the night. And yet, I smell no fear on you. How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I knew your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. How about another? Fear not. I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry, starving, ravenous. I want a fish, a big fish. And I'll give you something in return. Do you accept? That's the uh, traveling accent right there. Oh, big fish. Got it, uh, salmon. Clever creature. Take this and look away, won't you? I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere in a moment of chance in the cover of night. Ah, I was wondering what was going to happen, whether or not that was going to just be a buff for our next... Uh, foray out into the main area. 
But no, it's just another holy talisman for us. Neat. Super cool. Um, I can now buy fish from y'all at any point, should I want. I do not, but that is okay. Uh, these actually sell out. Ah, I thought the store would be replenishing in each of these different areas. I should try and exhaust these quite quickly, I think. That's what I should bend uh, any excess gold towards. Uh, okay. In the Lonely Shack, we also have a rowdy competitor ripe and ready for a rousing rematch. I needed to use an R to start the word match, you see, unfortunately, though I haven't matched him yet. We um, Glad you could make it. How about the march? Play Knuckle Bones against Clonko and Bot. Clonko and Bot can roll first. Go on. Bold play. I would roll higher than that, see? Uh... I'll contest that line. Make it hard for them to counter me without making a garbage line. Uh, I almost want to do the exact same over here as well. Oh, well. Good lord. I feel bad for some of their rolls right now. I'm going to drop the two in a lane by itself. Their five knocks mine. I don't know if I want to give them another chance for their them to roll a six to put in that lane. But I guess that would be a priority of theirs no matter what. Do I want to knock a three? Three's like slightly lower than average value. Ah, uh, sure, I'll do it. Yeah. In all likelihood, that could have happened anyway. Uh, I don't want to use a one to knock theirs. They've also got their highest value die on sidelines right now, so it's very easy for me to counter those. So all I have to do is roll the number, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to give them the free middle line because I kind of have to. Uh, I'm just going to leave myself with one space because I only need one space to try and counter them with that six. Five knocks theirs, giving us a little bit more time. Five knocks mine. Gosh, two knocks theirs, giving us more time as well. Unfortunately, opening them to a really good position for their five at the moment. I was about to say, I really need to roll the six soon if I want to be able to get back on board. More than fine by me. I'm going to give myself the possibility of tying that up at a line of twos. Oh, that's really good. I don't need another six to win this. So the maximum they can get from this point is rolling a five. And then that five would multiply itself by the other one. Right? So they'd have 25. They'd have 28 in that lane. They'd have 37. They would have 50 total. Um... Okay, so that's if they roll the the five. What if they roll the three? If they roll the three, they get a nine in that line, only adding six to what they have totally represented on board at the moment, which is 30, so 36. So if they roll anything except for a five, I can put this four in a safe position and we win. So do I want to take a one, a five in six to win right now? Yes. We win. Okay, yeah, there's also the possibility they, I just realized, they roll the two and clean that line. Um, but I would still be statistically, like, ahead at that point. I'd be numerically still ahead on the board and having a strong position. Ha! Huh? Not bad. Take this. I try to win it back, but I don't think I lose. I don't think I can lose another hand. Blasted shroomy. Strength from without receive five fervor when hit. 
Hey, if you want to introduce me to this shroomy, I'm more than happy to reclaim your pride for you. Patricia is descending against the faith and spreading falsehoods and it's going to leave tomorrow with 29 of my monies. Patricia, you wouldn't. That doesn't seem... But... You, you, you were a missionary for us. Okay, I can now make people like me again, thankfully. Oh my god. Hey, Thanana. Thanana, I need you to finish eating quite quickly here. Okay, cool. Um, because you need to go to prison for a second. Hang on. I need to re-educate. And release Tristan. Okay, you're not gonna do this again, right? Right? Get released. Uh, then Thanana needs to go to prison for a second. I'll immediately release them, but this is just a complete quest. Uh, for... Hang on. Where's his quest bot off? Eloise. Eloise. Which one of you is Eloise? Not one of the sick ones, right? But I can release you immediately. Because I have to make space! But Patricia! What are you doing? Immediate re-education there. Just because everyone has hated me for very long doesn't mean it's okay to lead a mutiny against me. What? If your friends started leading a mutiny, you join in too. Okay, Fanana. Oh, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Is that enough to get you a level? Oh, uh, I wanted to get the level through just petting. Okay. Uh, we'll hand in the quest, and then quickly go and pray in the temple, perform a sermon, which I think will actually be enough to pop another level for one of you. Oh, our cult is dwindling. Man, a lot more people must have left than I thought. We've done all of the doctrine, however, we can now get another one of the pieces unlocked. Deal double damage and cost... Sorry, curses deal double damage and half, cost half the verba. Uh, but the melee weapon damage and health is halved. I mean, that would be what would force me to start actually trying the, the curses more consistently. To make them disproportionately powerful. Gain a diseased heart every time a tarot card is drawn, but 100% of items will be lost if killed. Max of one diseased heart at a time. All hearts are replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts, or draw four tarot cards at the start of a run. None can be drawn after. I'm going to go for the Fleece of the Glass Cannon first, thinking it's the most significantly different in playstyle from the one that we currently have unlocked. It means a lot more possibility for build diversity in the future. Uh, like, I can do a bonfire ritual, but basically everyone's pretty happy with me right now. I'm not thinking I need to. Now, Ari, this whole healing business. Oh, wow. Everyone's going to cost 15 flowers. Oh. David, you okay? I just healed you, and then you walked off and looked like you were about to be sick. Um, a few of you, I thought, popped enlightenment, so I'm kind of surprised. Was it just one of you? No, 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 no. The, the, the dog did as well. Where's that dog? Ah, there you are. Speaking of mushrooms for us, perfect, but let me collect that loyalty reward.
and in fact collect our next level of divine inspiration as well. This is a very, very efficient time we spent here. A harvest totem for increasing the growth spode, uh, growth spode of all farm plots within range. Uh, increases the growth speed while also slowly generating devotion. Do I actually want to do that one? Deposit grass and turn it into fertilizer. I want to fertilize a solo. Actually, you know what? We need more base management stuff. An outhouse with high capacity. There we go. Let's make it not overflow every time we come back. Seems like the upkeep will be much easier if people don't want to stay 50 feet away from it at all times. Okay. What's, what's wrong? Let me, let me see what's going on in your brain. Use the outhouse, everyone does it. Uh, you're grieving. Okay, yeah, no, you're fine. You just looked a little perturbed. Next up in our construction projects, though. Harvest Totem is available. Still don't have enough of the crystals in order to build more lumber yards, though. Faith. Missionary 2. Yep, absolutely. We're just going to drop that building right now. And then, do I actually have Missionary 3? I do. I'm going to start building towards the resources that's going to require. Because, what, like, what is my cult ultimately very good at doing? Creating ultra-competent members. Right? Very, very dense. We're building tall and kind of wide, but the, the lifespan of the people that go through our... Uh, <laughs> Our religious ceremonies and sects uh, is is quite short, keeping us more lean than we otherwise have, otherwise might have been. And in fact, just collecting just a little bit more there. I think we're gonna call that because the next thing I'm gonna want to do is go back out into the fray. So for the moment. Let me say that my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been called Land. Top left is a series playlist for all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. Down below is the streams. Uh, sorry, down below is the YouTube recommendation for what it thinks you should watch next and streaming faster than the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. I would rather thank you and a special thanks to this episode to Willow. Hopefully, you all of you enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, see you next time.